Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Thursday of the weekday of Christmas season. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Christ is born for us, come let us adore him. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Christ is born for us, come let us adore him. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Forty years I entered that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. You who lead Joseph's flock, shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, an abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies love us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river, it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burned it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the men you have chosen the men you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord, Though you have been angry with me, 
your anger was abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He is, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds, proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud. At the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who by the nativity of your only begotten Son, wondrously began for your people the work of redemption, grant, we pray, to your servants such firmness of faith that by his guidance they may attain the glorious prize you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another, unlike Cain, who belonged to the evil one and slaughtered his brother. Why did he slaughter him? Because his own works were evil, and those of his brother righteous. Do not be amazed then, brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life, because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love was that he laid down his life for us, so we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means he's a brother in need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before Him. In whatever our hearts condemned, for God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, 
we have confidence in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us His we are. His people, the flock He tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him, bless His name. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generation. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please stand. has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. Today a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip. And Jesus said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, we have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? We will, you will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the sky open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. It pays to be truthful. Portate, portate, maging makatotohanan. We have always, we have heard it said also, the truth sets us free, diba? The truth sets us free. It's all space to be truthful. Of course, um, it also helps if, as we are truthful, we are also prudent. Ibig sabihin ng prudent. Ibig sabihin, we uh, say the right things in, at the right time, at the right place, in the right way. Lati pinag-iisipan tama ang pagkakasabi, uh, nasa tamang lugar, nasa tamang tao, sa tamang panahon. So, prudence. So, truth and prudence. They're like twins. They go together. 
truth lang can be sometimes can be very hurtful. So kinakailangan ng prudence. Um, truthful people are easy to get along with, di ba? Kasi wala kang iisipin. Parang lahat, what you see is what you get. Kung yung makita mo, yun na. Walang pretensions, wala ka, hindi ka man, maninimbang. Totoo ba ang sinasabi o hindi ba totoo? Authentic people, truthful people are easy to get along with. Alam natin yun by experience. Of course, kung uh, ikaw ay meron ding tinatago, ikaw ay meron ding pretensions, meron ka ring sariling uh, um, you're trying to be someone else, then you are threatened by truthful people. Kasi they will see through you. Makikita ng tao, ng, ng truthful na tao, kung, kung sino ka talaga. In the gospel that we have read today, Jesus finds a truthful man in the person of Nathaniel. Si Nathaniel was very truthful. Bakit? Kasi nung sinabi ni Philip sa kanya, come, come, follow Jesus. He came from Nazareth. Anong sabi ni Nathaniel, can anything good come from Nazareth? Pwede natin interpret yung, yung statement na yun. Can anything good come from Nazareth? We can interpret them in, interpret it in two ways. Una, pwede natin interpret na if Nazareth is such an obscure town in Jerusalem, napakalit na ano, okay, pwede bang may magaling, may, may uh, meron mong mabuting manggagaling dyan eh, napaka-obscure yung town na yan. It's a parang, parang put down, eh? parang a belittling of Nazareth and anything that will come from Nazareth. Kasi maliit na taon lang yan. Meron mong manggagaling dyan na mabuti. Wala. Pwede ganun. You can interpret it as, as, uh, as a belittling of Nazareth and anything that comes from Nazareth. Nothing good will come from Nazareth because it's so obscure, parang yun yung first interpretation. But a second interpretation, I think, which is even better, and I think this is what Nathaniel means, is that can, how can a great Messiah that we, are, we have been waiting for, how can a great Messiah like Jesus Christ come from Nazareth? So there's a, a feeling of disbelief because Nazareth is such an obscure town, how can such a great Messiah come from there? So, pwedeng yun ang interpretation. But whatever the interpretation might be, what it shows to us is that Nathaniel is bold enough to say this. Biro mo, pinapakilala ni Philip si Jesus sa kanya, sasabay niya, can anything, God, can anything good come from Nazareth? He spoke his mind. Hindi siya nagtago, hindi siya nagpretend. Hindi siya nag, nag, uh, naging diplomatic. He spoke whatever was in his mind. And Jesus saw that. Jesus saw the, the lack or the absence of pretension. Jesus saw that Nathaniel was true to his word and true to his mind. He said what, was, what he was thinking of. Kaya nga sabi ni Jesus about him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Sa Tagalog, ito yung mabuting tao. Walang plastic, hindi plastic. Hindi plastic. He's a true child of Israel. Makatotoo. Makatotoo. And uh, Jesus gives him, you know, praises him because of that. And as he was praised, um, Nathaniel naman changed his mind, his tone of voice, and says to him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. So makita natin yung, yung uh, transition, no? transformation from a disbelief. How can something good come from Nazareth? Now to a, to a statement of praise and, uh, you know, and belief and faith. Rabbi, you are the son of God, the king of, king of Israel. Ikaw nga. Ikaw na. Ikaw na yung inaantay namin. So what does this tell us? So he says, he says that Nathaniel was truthful, Nathaniel was audacious, Nathaniel was bold and daring and spoke his mind. What does this try to tell us? Ano message para sa atin? 
Well, ni invite tayo tanungin niyo ating sarili. We are invited to ask ourselves, how authentic are we? How true are we? How true are we to who we are? Totoo ba tayo sa ating sarili? O meron ba tayong mga pretensions? Can we be true to ourselves? Can we face, look at ourselves in the mirror and say, ito ka, yan ka. Yan ka, guapo, maganda. Hindi, hindi truthful yun. <laughs> yan ka, kung ano man yung, well, kung ano man yung gifts mo and your garbage mo. You are true to yourself. You, you, you know and accept all your gifts and all your garbage, all your, you know, not, so, not very great things about yourself. You accept them. You are true to who you are. So we ask ourselves that. Well, how true are we? To ourselves, or to are we to others? Tayo ba'y mayroong maskara? Tayo ba'y nagpapanggap sa ibang tao para makabilong, para ma- hindi mapahiya? How true are we to others? And most importantly, how true are we to God? Of course, with God, wala tayong kahit anong pretension gawin natin, we cannot fool God, di ba? So how true are we? How authentic are we? And it invites us so to be truer, the more true we are to, our, to ourselves and to others, the more free we can be, the happier we can be, and the more fulfilled we will be. So we ask God now to help us in our, in our efforts to become truer, to become more truthful, to become more authentic to ourselves, to others, and to God. Let us all stand now. <laughs> we have heard the word of God proclaimed to us. He sees our sincere efforts to lead good lives. And once again, we ask him for his help. After each petition, we say, Father of Jesus, hear our prayer. Father of Jesus, hear our prayer. That the Church of God may fearlessly call people to repentance and believe in the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, hear our prayer. That more people may profess their faith in God in all circumstances of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, hear our prayer. That families may strive to make their homes places where children can hear God calling them by name. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, hear our prayer. That we may hold on on the eternal truths of the gospel of Christ and the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Father of Jesus, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of our country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, we pray. Father of Jesus, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions, we pray. Father of Jesus, hear our prayer. That the death, especially Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers of your people. Do not look on our sinful ways, but show us your gentle mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feasts of this awful mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat His bread and drink His cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven, in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may, be, we may always be free from, our, from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ang inyong dalawang kamay ang ostia at sumagot ng Amen, at isubo na agad ang ostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad, at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng ostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
Please stand. The Lord God has come to His people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guard our feet, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the Lord God, God has come, come to His people and set them free. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the sick and bless the religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, into the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary, may all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.